morning, besties. Is it bizarre? You could tell me. I think you'll all be honest with me. You usually are. Is it bizarre to think that like today, Saturday, April 24th, is my last day feeling like a normal human being? I haven't felt normal for a while, but my lawyer texted me last night and he was like, enjoy the last day of anonymity. And I love my anonymity. That's why I love being in New York because nobody really like looks up from their feet and pays attention to you walking down the street. Not that I get recognized a lot, but when I do, it feels really intense to me. I enjoy my anonymity. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I love meeting you guys more than anything in the world. If I had to pick not being recognized all the time and being recognized all the time by sweet fans like you, I would always choose you. You will, you would always be the choice and without a doubt, like please don't take this the wrong way. But when you're just trying to get everyday tasks done and there's people who actually don't really care about who you are but care that you're someone, it gets really disrespectful and you're like, Mwah! I don't know if it's weird to think that that's my last day of that. I don't think I'm gonna blow up. I don't like to think that. People are telling me that, my agents and my lawyer and my friends. Needless to say, I'm very excited to be going out with Nico today because I want to enjoy the day. He's picking me up in like 40 minutes, so I don't know if I should take a shower first. I don't know what the vibe is. I might take a shower first. Anyways, it's gonna be a really fun day. Posted the vlog last night while I was on FaceTime with Josh and you guys are being so nice about it and you really like it and I love you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me all the time. You're the best. I also just want to say that I missed- I just don't remember what I was going to say, never mind. What the fuck? What? Am, am I okay? Hey, Nico, if you're watching this, which you're probably not, I'm really sorry that I'm late. I really wanted to talk to my mommy this morning, so I'm sorry. For the record, it's not even nine yet, and I'm already like, I'm late, which I have a similar story with my callback for Shazam. <laughs> so if you want to hear that, let me know, but yeah. I have anxiety about being late, which, why am I filming this? Because it's going to make me it bye. What? I support all the things. Support my YouTube channel, Nico. <laughs> YouTube channel. Are you even subscribed? Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Swipe up. Swipe up. Nico is in the bathroom. I got a chai. When will my husband return from war? I can tell that you're judging me. <laughs> Actually, I'm judging you. <laughs> this is war. Ah! Why did I scream like that? I. I, I don't, I don't know why, I, I don't know. What's happening? Where did you take me? <laughs> I just don't, is it because there's no hills in New York? Those are mountains, babe. Yes. It is. <laughs> this is the effect my therapist wished had on me. <laughs> in therapy i'm just like uh-huh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. childhood trauma right <laughs> someday we can be in the same city someday we'll be grown this is what nico what is this <laughs> okay nico go take a picture <laughs> we love you <laughs> Nico went on to become a professional model who hates Rachel. We're in the splash zone. I want to name them. He's just having a little bath. I've decided to name this bird Rachel and I'm going to take care of it as my own. We have to take a bird back to my hotel. Um, it's going in your car. Okay, yeah, here's the nest though. <laughs> <laughs> I need you all night. Come on, dance with me too. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen water in such a long time. <laughs> yeah, I haven't left my house. <laughs> ah, the quest to not get a ticket. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, body stand in between me and my man. Because it's me and Mr. John. It's not. It. Why do you lie to me? I'm not All men do is lie. Oh my god. <laughs> She's lying. She's lying about men. All lying. women do is lie. <laughs> oh yeah, I lied to my fans. What? For... <laughs> what the fuck? Guys, yeah. I think Nico might be really stupid. <laughs> Does ginger ale have caffeine in it? I just think soda has caffeine in it. I'm almost 100% certain that ginger ale does not. It has to say caffeine free on here Google. somewhere. I'm gonna Google. Okay, but you have to show me the Google results okay. because I don't put it past you to lie. 
Because all, all men. Yeah, all men. I'm a man. All of them. <laughs> I was right, for the record. Take that, Nico. He thought the latte was pretty. I thought he was prettier. <laughs> Guys. He got the whole farm. <laughs> no! Oh, no, the bones. Well, uh, That's ginormous. I'm gonna eat it all though. Okay, you, great. You're gonna okay. do this. Yeah, so we'll get it. Yeah. It'll be gone. I got tacos. Oh my god. Guys. Water? Water? Nico? <laughs> Why are you why are you cuffing? Rachel? It's cuffing season. <laughs> That's right. Uh, they're probably uneven. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it's like a music video. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> I can't even do it well. This is so sad. It's, it's not bad. filming. <laughs> I have reason to believe that Nico might be stupid. Another reason. Um, I would like to say okay. that I'm pretty sure. Listen, don't don't listen to Rachel. This is crazy. <laughs> but the Scooby Doo mystery van is and will always be <laughs> a VW van. It was not a VW bus. It what was, was it? it? It was a van. It was like straight up a car. It's called the mystery machine. But they can't promote Volkswagen on the television show because that'd be crazy. But it is. But it, it is. Wasn't a VW van. I will literally ask strangers on this video. Go on. Hey, guys, I have a question. No. Thank you. Was it a VW bus or was it a van? Like the mystery machine? No, it's not. Oh, it's a van. That's the wrong answer. They don't know what they're talking about. No, they do. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Okay. We're staying. We're going home. Hi, Salea. I have reason to believe I am. I have reason to believe I am stupid. Why is that, Rachel? Because I thought Berlin was in Russia. I just want to clarify that I said, well, like, she goes to Berlin, um, Russia, Germ Russia, German Russia, Germany. <laughs> so you can call me an idiot. I, I deserve it. But yeah. Also, stream my songs on Spotify. Also, hi, Jason Gote. <laughs> okay. Nico's mad that I didn't ask what he thought my Hogwarts house is. Because I knew. She's... I'm clearly Hufflepuff. a Hufflepuff. Sorry. Look at her. Literally. Yeah, and he's clearly a Gryffindor. I mean, because he's a Dazzle. So I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, um, but Am I a Jedi or a Sith? There is a right answer. Guys, I have to talk to them. They can't hear you? Um, mm -hmm. Right. No that's what, yeah, that's what I said. Okay. okay. So All right, cool. Right. So mm -hmm. they said, yeah. they said, they said Jedi. <laughs> they are correct. And that's what I said too. So. Obviously, that's what you said. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Stop telling him the answer. <laughs> Hi. Oh God, my phone's falling. I had the best day. Just the best. Uh, Nico. I love you, man. Just pure and simple. I might watch the Oscars with Nico tomorrow because I don't want to be by myself. And he was like, I don't want you to be by yourself either. Cause uh, that's friendship. What a wonderful day. I had so much fun. I feel like I was really back out in the world for the first time in a long time. And my hair's a mess. I'm really sorry about that. And out in the world in a great way. Nico's fully vaccinated. I'm so jealous. I'm only halfway there. It was just so beautiful. And he showed me so many beautiful things. And we had breakfast in the mountains, a drink at like a ranch, lunch on a pier. Like that was the most beautiful thing I think I've ever done in my life. <laughs> And we laughed and we sang, it was so fun. And I just, oh, I'm so excited for things to get back to like a semi state of normalcy if there ever was and be able to do that more often with more people. And just, that's what I miss so much. It's just genuine connection and eye contact with human beings. Anyways, it's kind of sinking in more and more that tomorrow is happening and the trailer is coming out. And I'm really thinking about deleting all my social media. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm thinking about it. You, I'm thinking about it. Anyways, yeah, bye. I'm gonna go across the street to the supermarket and get like water because I drank like six jugs of it and I'm ready for more. Do we like the fit? 
Do we like the fit? Yes, I'm wearing the jacket again. Do we like the fit? I'm no longer asking. Thankfully, it's still daylight, so I can still look good. I just got off the phone with my mom and my sister. My sister's away on business right now too, so my poor mama has never had like a full empty house before. So it's just my mom and dad. And yeah, we're very close, so we just chat. I don't need these right now. I probably look like an asshole, but maybe I deserve rights for that. I ordered room service for us besties. My hotel bill is gonna be fucking crazy. I just went across the street and I got some beverages and by beverages I mean water and an Arizona iced tea because I wanted to and because I finished my gigantic jug of water. When I was at the supermarket I saw the Hollywood Reporter Scott Rudin issue and I forgot to talk about the absolute party happy dance that I did this morning when I saw that Scott Rudin was stepping down from the Broadway League. Why is this a big deal you ask? Basically the Broadway League was protecting Scott Rudin from being on the do not work list for AEA. AEA is the uh, Actors Equity Association, it's our union. I am not AEA because I've never done professional stage work that required a union status. I'm SAG-AFTRA for my film work. I don't really know if this matters. Should I even be telling you this? Anyways, it protected him from being on the do not work list. If you're a member of the Broadway League, they don't put you on the do not work list. So we down from the Broadway League, which means he can be put on the do not work list. That was an air horn. It's amazing. And seeing that magazine, I, it's sitting on my coffee table at home. I put it in my vlog a couple days ago. People who do not value other people's work, time, being, emotions. Not only does the universe work in wonderful ways, but so do activists and protesters. People who are on the street at the, the protest on Broadway, freaking awesome. And, and so many people are responsible for him being held accountable. And, and I think we should we should be celebrating that. So I celebrated with getting fries in a salad, but fries. And I'm gonna talk to Josh and I'm going to edit this video. And then I'm going to bed because I have brunch with my lawyer tomorrow. And then I'm gonna see Chris McCarroll. Ah, I'm gonna see Chris. And I'm going to watch the Oscars with Nico. And I'm gonna watch my trailer for my movie on television. That doesn't make any sense. I don't like to film myself crying, but I just wanted to explain why. The teaser trailer comes out tomorrow. I have very complicated feelings, but I just keep thinking about this channel and I keep thinking about the 14, 15, 16, 17 year old girl who just used to stand on her bed and sing show tunes in hopes that someday this would happen. <laughs> and she's been through a lot since then. A lot of good and a lot of bad and uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't know what, it just hit me like an hour ago. And I can't, I mean, I think it's a good moment. From what I can tell right now, it's like a good, healthy, this is your life, like let's understand it type beat. But it definitely already feels overwhelming and nothing's even happened yet. <laughs> but it's crazy. And I love you. The yeah. Good morning. A poster just dropped. I look crazy. <laughs> a poster just dropped and I was on FaceTime with David when it happened and I got a reaction. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I'm going to brunch with my lawyer and I'm trying to call as many castmates as possible because I feel like I'm going to be a mess tonight and that I probably shouldn't do it when I'm a mess. Tried to call Mike Feist. He didn't answer. Kind of fake. And I'm going down the line. So let's go. I just want everyone to know that I haven't stopped crying since last night. You guys are being so nice to me. Oh no. So many tweets and things about how long that you've been following me and following this journey. And I know, hey, maybe nothing will even happen tonight. Maybe I'm not in the trailer. Who the hell knows? But regardless, you have made my day and you've made my life so much better. So, oh God, okay, thank you. I have to go. My lawyer is picking me up. I have to go. I love you, bye. It's a beautiful day in, in, in West Hollywood and it's not crowded and it's not, I'm not, claustrophobic and I don't feel like people are invading my space at all. It's been really good. It's just really good. Who are you talking to? I'm not talking to any. Whoa. Wait. What? What? Oh. What? How did I find you in I West Hollywood, girl? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the one rule. Okay. Your eyebrows have to be over your collarbone. Okay, all right. Guys, I always say, your eyebrows have to be more forward than your tits, but I don't want to say that. <laughs> if Rashida Jones came up to me on the street, I don't know if I'd be that chill. <laughs>
my god! a loser i'm so sorry you could just skip ahead if you don't want to see me crying i i i, I get it <laughs> um i just i can't stop for some reason facetime steven right after I just thank you thank you thank you for changing my life and and then he was like why didn't you tell me you were in la we could have watched it together <laughs> um there's so much I could say. I I don't have the words. Um, hopefully, I've come up with something semi-coherent to say on social media. Uh, it might be on my Instagram. I don't really know. Thank you for everyone who's ever believed in me. And if you've been watching me since I was 15 and singing covers of show tunes on my on my bed, if you've been watching because I was cast in West Side Story and wanted to see what I was up to and were severely disappointed because all I do is sing covers on my bed, <laughs> or if you've just started to subscribe to me now because of the Oscars and the trailer. Thank you so much for believing in me and entrusting me with a story that is so important to me. Um, that is so near and dear to my heart and um, it just feels really real now that I made something and people are gonna see it and it's something that I'm really, really proud of. And I had such a beautiful time making it. And it's been really weird to revisit that time in my life and that world that I stepped into as a 17 year old girl and now seeing it as someone who's turning 20 next week. I just hold so much space for that young girl who is saying show tunes in her room. And I'm thinking about her tonight and um, that I'm thinking about all of you who make the joys in my life possible and you make them so much better. I love you. And loving you is the easiest thing for me to do. Good night.